Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. Inside these boxes is the official final upgrade to the world's most famous Android standalone smartwatch phone, the Kingwear KW88. These are the pros. This is the prototype of the Pro, and this is the production unit, and it's in the boxing that they sent it out with, and from what I can tell, they're really, really close. So let's take a look. We're going to unbox it after we tell you that it is available from GearBest. GearBest has sent out this production unit. It's... Uh, Available in the show notes down below. Really good price already, and hopefully we'll have a discount for you as well. The Kingwear KW88 Pro 3G smartwatch. Now, these are the specs it comes with. As you look through, you see we've got Android 7.0 in it. It's a 1.3 gigahertz quad-core processor, 1 gigabyte of RAM, and 16 gigabytes of storage. And that's a good complement for these watches. Here's all the frequencies and stuff it supports, your typical GPS and 3G communications. It's a 1.39 inch standard 400 by 400 AMOLED screen with a camera, two megapixel, I'm sure, uh, SIM card slot, um, but no uh, expansion memory in it. Runs all these different media, has all these languages and these additional features. Of, a basic smartwatch, mind you, but what it's got going for it is that unique design. So let's take a look. The prototype and the production. We'll kind of unbox them together. They come in a nice little bag. And of course, they're available in a variety of colors. The prototype they sent out is in rose gold, beautiful rose gold color. This has been, like I say, one of the most popular watches ever. In fact, if you watch the video review on the original, um, and most of you have, because we have almost a half a million views on that video, the most watched video on this channel is this KW88. This one is the sporty version now. They didn't have this color before. This is a nice bright red with silver body, and it has the same uh, TPU type of a band with holes in it. The button on the side and camera with microphone, just like this one. Similar band in black. This side's got the big speakers. On the bottom, we've got the charging port, the cover for the SIM card, and the uh, heart rate uh, sensor. Yeah, they look the same. When we take out the lining of the boxes, we have a box in here and i'm sure in here as well yeah yeah uh and inside the box is probably going to be the charging thing and screwdriver yeah this is all bundled together no extra screws here but this is the standard four pin connector and screwdriver to take off the cover for the sim card we have a little screen protector a card with notes on it about charging it and a manual version 1.0 if you can see that over there and this one the prototype came shipped with aha the charger which i've already taken out and hooked up and used to charge these up with and the screwdriver so nothing different same thing there and uh looks like we've got that same little card the notes and the manual yeah and it's also version 1.0 with a little bit of stuff on it and their screen protector so i got the same kit in the prototype as we, we you get in the production unit if you order it we'll go to this manual from the production one and show you uh, quickly what it talks about inside here the networks that are supported for 3g are your standard ones product overview again you can freeze frame this if i'm going too fast most of you say I go too slow, and you could take a look at it at your leisure. And uh, being Kingware, it may actually be available online on their website as a PDF. Some of the bigger companies actually digitize their manuals. But not knowing for sure if they do or not, we're giving you a chance to check out the manual ahead of time by giving it to you on YouTube. Okay. 
lot of text in this one. Some of them are icon driven. This one is definitely word driven. And that should be the completion of the English portion. And now we go into upside down the Chinese version on the other side. All right, let me clear things out and we'll look at these watches. Let's press the buttons and char fire them up. They've both been charged and we can peel off the screen protectors on both of them. And while they're coming up, I want to remind you, this is now um, the... Uh, cool. The Kingwear KW88 Pro running Android 7. If you recall back, there was an intermediary uh, version of this watch that came out from ZGPAX. And uh, for a little midway time, we had an Android 5.1 version of this watch. And I happen to have it right here. It's called the S99C. And just for comparison purposes, quickly, I thought I'd show it to you. Got the same kind of band. Got the same kind of dial, got the same kind of everything. Pretty much looks identical to the KW88 line, but it was from ZGPAX. And as I said, when you get into it, in the settings about the watch, you see it's running Android 5.1 uh, S99C. So I got a whole review up on this, how much memory, RAM, and storage, and all kinds of things about it. You can hop over and take a look at the review on that one uh, if you want to look at something that might be a little less expensive, but a bump up from the original KW88. As for today, we're looking at this. Oh, look at that. I'm down to 1%. This one wasn't charged. And look at it goes into this special mode. It's got the time only on it. It shows you the percentage and you can bail out of it, but you're not going to last very long. So I'm going to have to charge this one up. Uh, in terms of layout, we'll quickly look through them. They are identical from what I can tell because they're running basically the same thing, right? And if we go into system, which is where we get our overall information in about this watch in settings and about this watch, we can check to see that they're the same model number running the same Android version. There's our baseband in kernel, August the 4th, August the 4th. These folks are identical. We haven't had a firmware update since the prototype to the production. So I don't expect, since it has exactly the same firmware, to see anything different between them at all. Down here, you've got that. Yeah, we're down to out of, uh, out of power on this one and 95% here. So we're going to work off of this one. Here's all your different things. You can make it super bright, super dim. They look like they got the same overall brightness to them your airplane mode, which it went into automatically for power savings, and it turned off the twist your wrist, and it turned off all of your communications to save power. So it's good to know when it gets down super low that it's going to do that. And you got the music player and all of that stuff. And when you got it on the, uh, the network, you've got your weather update as well. When you swipe up, Sure looks like 7, doesn't it? What we've seen in the other Android 7, 7.1.1 type watches. The bottom is where you get all of your stuff related to step count. The left gets you your notifications. The right gets you your app drawer. And you can't go any further than that. You can't go any further than that. But when you come up, yep, you got your weather, music, the place where you can clean everything up the layout with all of those switches, and then your information there. All right, so we're going to set the pretty gold one aside, and we'll do a deeper look here at the uh, production red one. What can I tell you? Let's go into the apps. We got contacts, phone, and messaging, which uh, tie in with your SIM card. And a reminder, a lot of you looking for that Bluetooth calling capability from a smartwatch, an Android watch. It only exists in Android 5.1. Um, not earlier and not later. It has not been written to work in Android 7 or, or even 6. So you're not going to see that here. 
We'll come back to settings. You got your basic browser and downloads. The calendar and clock are the same. The camera is on the side and it's right here and it's a two megapixel. And what we like to do is take some pictures like so and run a little video like this. I'm now doing a video of my hand wiggling in the screen. I could stop that, he says. There, it said it was saving. Now we come in here and we play it. I cannot even hear my voice. But the picture's there. And we come into the picture and we double tap and we double tap again and you see that you have three levels of zooming. We don't have pinch and zoom. If I double tap and hold and pinch, it goes crazy. Um, so, yeah, picture-wise, you just have two levels of zoom available to you. And that's everything you need to know about camera galleries where the pictures are saved. You have an onboard music player and you have a tethered uh, music player that'll play music from your phone. Sound recorder, your overall file manager that says that we have, whoops, Let's go back out of there to that level. We have about 12 gigabytes of space left. Is that blooming out on you? There you go. Um, there's nothing installed in here. It's just straight out of the box. So you get a full 12 gigabytes of your 16 available to use how you would like. Heart rate monitor, weather, voice search is your basic Google. Being that it's Android 7, I'm pretty sure you can put the um, Assistant, Google Assistant in here so you get all that in-context type searching and more robust capabilities. Uh, I know it works well in 7.1.1. The Play Store, Maps, and Assistant here is the Assistant for connecting to your phone and doing all the tethering stuff. And it wants you to uh, scan that QR code um, in order to get there. And then you have all these different um, things you can do, connecting to the phone, wait for the connection, and scan the barcode. And it's the WII Watch uh, app, either the basic or watch app two. I'll have that in the uh, show notes with a direct link to the Play Store so you can, you can check it out. Now, last thing is the uh, watch faces that come with the new KW88 Pro. Uh, let's see what they've invented here for us. You notice that it's a really nice edge-to-edge -edge screen on this watch as well. And a characteristic thing I've seen with the um, this particular model is the glass has got kind of an interesting feel to it. It has a little bit of resistance instead of it just being really smooth. There's your tachometer with smartwatch written above it, fine digits, good quality. Um, yeah, it's got a really nice feel to it. I think that's that and the bezel itself is part of the draw that's led this to be a really popular watch. Now that's a nice one to finally, finally show it on my arm, right? Okay. A couple of these I've gone through the whole video and I get a comment back and said, you never even put it on your arm. What's up with you? Nice, huh? This is a classy watch. This really is a good uh, good design. It's been around. It's very popular. Since there's no differences on it, the updates and upgrades are all internal. Uh, so the only way you know is, well, what apps it might run um, and how it behaves. Okay, these are all the standard ones we've seen before. There's another one that might look good on the red. Yeah, another one. Uh-huh. Lots of dials and widgets and things can sometimes look busy. I know it's looking kind of bloomed out on the screen. Here you go. If you're on the internet, you can uh, add uh, watch faces from the server there. And if you download any uh, custom watch faces into the, uh, the watch, you want to make sure after you load them in there, you come over here and you hit that little button. That'll refresh the directory of all of these and you'll prevent yourself from possibly bricking your uh, your watch. Wow, that is so bright. I'm going to come over here and turn it all the way down to dim. There, it's on its night vision mode and uh, still looks really, really hot. So this is going to be an easy one to see outdoors when you're in full brightness. Look at that. That's red. To me, that's red. And it is so bright, it's bloomed out the camera completely. Only way I can get it to show is if it make the, the automatic camera thing go totally dark in the background. That's how bright it is. Here it is on regular. Yeah. Uh, okay. 
All right. Uh, I think that's about everything we need to cover on this one, except remind you again that this is coming uh, from Gearbest, the Kingwear KW88 Pro. Check the shopping link down below for, oh yeah, okay, for a link over there and hopefully a coupon discount. And yes, yes, I heard you screaming. I will show you the, sis, uh, the settings here real quick. Settings. We've got your standard sound stuff. That might be why the volume wasn't coming through on the uh, audio for the video. It was really kind of low right there. Uh, but this is all standard stuff on uh, with the speaker on the side. You should get good volume out of here. Our overall display where you can change the brightness and the sleep time from whatever you want up to 30 minutes. Notice there's no always on screen. That's a feature with 7.1.1 and some of the new watches we've covered where you turn it off and you still have uh, an analog uh, watch on there. You're not seeing that in 7.0. Unfortunately, it's not on the KW88 Pro either. Uh, otherwise, you'd see it in display there. Here's your overall app list style. You can have it arc arced or round like we've been doing is arced. Your connectivity, where you have Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and you can do a Wi-Fi hotspot if you think your battery is going to support it and your carrier will uh, allow it. Um, and you have GPS and uh, your airplane mode. And when you have cell, a SIM card in here, you get access to the cellular stuff down there. Gestures is about to twist your wrist to see the time. And yes, it shows you your actual watch face. No more of that silly digital time when you twisted it. And you can turn on or off the pedometer, save battery. If you don't use the pedometer, turn it off. Power savings mode for even more. Language and input, date and time that calibrates with your um, Wi-Fi typically. So make sure you're on Wi-Fi and see if your time will come back. If your time zone is off, turn the automatic time zone off and select your location. Here's how you reset the whole watch, uninstall apps, and if you have any more information, uh, you can handle it all here, including your Google accounts and so forth. We've seen this before in, in uh, excuse me, Android 6, I believe, definitely in 7 like this and 7.1.1, so um, we're running through it pretty quick. All right, that wraps it up. KW88 Pro, long time coming, but a beautiful watch, and, oh, this is the black version of the S99C, but this is what it would look like with that kind of a bezel in the KW88 Pro. And there you are, the gold one with an appearance that looks like this, and this is what this will look like on. You get kind of a mixed message. You've got the sporty band, but you've got the dressy uh, look. And no, folks, the bands are not removable or exchangeable. So make sure you buy the color with the band that you want. They only come in the black band, unless you're getting the red one. <laughs> well, check the buying link. You'll see what all the options are. You've been watching Smartwatch Ticks. I appreciate your subscription, and we will see you again soon.